Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running Conboard on Windows. To get started, download the latest XAMPP zip file. As well as the latest Conboard release source code from GitHub. And finally, the Microsoft Visual C++ installer. Navigate to the Downloads directory and launch the Microsoft Visual C++ installation. Check the I Agree checkbox, then click Install. Once the installation completes, click Close. Next, right-click on the Conboard download and extract the source code. Then extract the downloaded XAMPP zip archive. Rename the Conboard folder to just Conboard, removing the version number. Then cut the renamed folder, navigate into the XAMPP directory, htdocs, then paste the conboard directory from the clipboard. Navigate into the conboard directory, and make a copy of the config.default.php file. Rename the copy config.php, then edit it in a text editor. Search the file for db underscore driver. Set the value to MySQL. Then using the video description, Set the database username, password, and database name. Save the changes to config.php and close the file. Navigate back to the downloads directory and cut the entire XAMPP folder. Then navigate to C program files and paste the XAMPP folder from the clipboard. Navigate into the XAMPP folder and run setup underscore xampp.bat. Once the script completes, press any key to close the command prompt. Then launch xampp control.exe. Select the language and click save. Then click the start buttons across from Apache and MySQL. Back in File Explorer, navigate into the MySQL bin directory. While holding shift, right click in the white space and select open PowerShell window here. Using the video description as a guide, log into the MySQL database as the root user. Then we'll use SQL commands to create a Comboard database, a Comboard MySQL service account, and grant the service account full permissions on the new database. Then we'll flush privileges and exit the MySQL prompt. Then we'll run a script to import the Comboard database structure into our new database. Once completed, we can exit the PowerShell window. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host slash conboard. Log in with the username and password admin. Click the drop down at the very top right of the screen and select My Profile. Then select Edit Profile under Actions in the left navigation menu. Enter a new username and optionally a name and email address. Then scroll to the bottom and click Save. Now select Change Password from the left navigation. Enter the current password, then enter and confirm a new password and click Save. Select the drop down in the top right of the screen and log out. Log back in using the new username and password. Welcome to Conboard, running on a web server on Windows.